What is up folks, it's Puntu Gage back again from Game Spoiler with another review video on hands today. We will be reviewing Killing Floor 2 with the PlayStation 4 version review. So before we start off, please be generous, like this video and subscribe to Game Spoiler for more upcoming reviews. The Killing Floor 2 which came out on 18th November 2016 and is not exclusively for PlayStation 4 and was first released on PC. Anyways, first things first, the graphics, as soon as you start the game, you are in the room with some guiding all over again and again to get some stuff because they are coming. Who? Of course, genetically engineered monsters, dude. Yes, we are talking about graphics at first. To be honest, this game is out of imagination for me. When it comes to graphics, I wasn't expecting such awesome graphics. Seriously, overall, the texture, the shades are awesome, and oh my god, the way the smoke comes in or out is pretty damn out of the park. They've just nailed it with the graphics phase for the game. You need a campaign or multiple modes to keep your attention. This might not be the game for you. It's essentially a horde mode turned into a full game, you know, games including a solo play, gameplay mode, but that doesn't have any sort of story. No backstory, no after story, no, you know, just basically all you have to do is online matchmaking. So offline mode and online mode, you could co up with four more players in a solo and you will have to survive alone. Though playing with your friends is awesome, like surviving a bunch of monsters with buddies, I mean, who doesn't want to kill monsters with their best friends? I do. There are four difficulty modes, including normal, hard, suicidal, and hell on earth. Would you check out the cheesiness? Or if it's meant to be serious, I'm sorry. So far, you will have to clear the waves of a bunch of bunch of monsters, you know, hordes of monsters. You can select that like four waves or seven or maximum ten. Once you complete the ten waves, then it's time to pass through one of the main boss and it's worth mentioning that boss can kill the careless player in seconds. The game includes 10 perks including a berserker, a commando, support field, medic etc. Each perk has 25 levels with 2 abilities to choose from on every 5th level. There are about 40 different weapons, grenades and knives for each perk and all of them are unique which makes users comfy in selecting and slashing the hell out of monsters. It's really fun to customize your character, like adding gas masks, jackets, headphones to appear cool, you know, when playing with friends. And seriously, it's fun, like in start, you have no money to trade weapons, but as you clear the waves, you get hands on some serious stuff, like swords and other guns. One tips for beginners, do try melee weapons to clear initial waves. You know, the only issue I could report off is that Killing Floor 2 doesn't have a story campaign, seriously, but one on the other hand, if let's suppose there was sto sort of a story in Killing Floor 2, it would be awesome, you know, like, no, Doom, oh my god, what the hell I was gonna say, but overall the game has cool graphics, the sound effects, and especially the gunshots. Use of vibrant colors and great animations make it one of the smoothest games with no story mode and repetitive gameplay which doesn't even bother you if you love slashing monsters. Basically it's a, let's say, hack and slash kind of a first person flick, which is not your everyday first person flick. It is out of the park, it is amazing I'd say, it is KILLER! So for me, the game is somehow on the scales on PSN, it's $30, so you could get this if you really have a bunch of friends to play, but my recommendations are 85% off this game, I think that's the highest I've given something right now, for now, but just if you guys want to play it in co-op, anyways guys, do tell me what do you think about the game, and the ratings, the ratings are 8 out of 10, Killing Floor 2 gets 8 out of 10 from Games Brother, yes, this is Bantu Gage telling you all, the rating is once again a repeat 8 out of 10 and in the comment section below do let me know what do you think about the game do not forget to like and subscribe once again in the description there is a link to my recent giveaway do check that too on the screen you must be seeing and hearing to my typical lines left and right there are both recent reviews go check them out click them if not then i will hop out somehow from your screen while you're playing killing for two and kill your floors which is lame instead i'll kill you so click it 